Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to query blocks in Ethereum uh, using Go programming language. So the first step is to get an Ethereum client uh, using the Go Ethereum client package. And we basically dial, uh, use this dial function to connect to one of the gateways. So in, in this case, I'm using the Cloudflare uh, Ethereum gateway to get the client. Once you have the client, then we can use the client to call a couple of functions. So first we will see how to get the header. So header is basically one part of an Ethereum block. So a block has its body and its header. So the header does not have all the data. It has mostly the metadata kind of data and we will see what exactly it has. So we can call this header by number function. And if we give a number nil, it will simply get the header of the latest known block. Once we have the header, we can simply, you know, print the particular fields which header has. So let's see what a header actually has. So this is the actual header struct uh, in an Ethereum block. Just to give you context, so if this is the whole Ethereum block, it has, you know, two parts. One is the header, the other is the body. And the header has quite a few metadata. The body has the list of transactions we can see the header actually has the parent hash so as you know in a blockchain uh, one block is built on top of its parent so it needs to have reference to the parent so it has the parent hash the uncle hash which is kind of the uh, parallel blocks hash coinbase which is basically the new uh, amount of uh, ether uh, which gets created in every extra block so here the root means the state root uh, which is the all the data that is stored it is eventually converted to a root and uh, that root is simply stored here same thing is done for uh, receipts and transactions so these are the you know, this is the transaction root and receipts root bloom is basically a filter filtering mechanism to to be able to effectively search for the data uh, difficulty is the difficulty level the for the proof of work mining difficulty level. So this may change when Ethereum actually merges. It, when the Ethereum merge happens, when the Ethereum will shift to proof of stake uh, instead of proof of work. This is the uh, block number. Then we have the gas limit, which is the total amount of, total limit of the gas usage. And gas used, which is the actual gas use, gas that is used during all the transactions. Uh, then we have timestamp some extra data and we have this mix digest and nonce which are both required to be found out during the proof of work computation again this may not be the case in case of proof of stake and then we have base fee which is basically an a fee mechanism which is burnt and that is added more recently in eip 1559 so eip stands for ethereum improvement proposal so it keeps on improving and changing based on the proposals people give and more recently, in, according to this proposal, this extra fee mechanism was added. So this is how a header looks like, and this is how you get a header. And you can use, you know, you can print any of these number you want. Then there is this another function called block by number. So you can actually query the full Ethereum block. That is, of course, a much bigger um, structure than the, just the header, because the block also has header as well as the transaction data. So if we go inside this and query the block, here you can see the block has headers along with quite a few other fields. And you can see the transactions here, which is a list of transactions. And here, uh, this, this program is simply printing out a few of the block's features. So if we run this code, So here you will see this is the uh, block number and we this is the most recent block number and this is the block number for which we did the query and you know it's simply printing out all these difficulty the timestamp the transaction hash and the length of transactions so it has 217 transactions uh, so yeah this is how you can query the blocks and actually get to know more details about the transactions that happen inside the block. 